Oh boy. Why am I getting a hint on the tutorial screen? On the loading screen? That somehow get turned on. Whatever. Oh, did I actually, like, exp I don't think I explored everything in that room after getting off the elevator. Not that there's probably much to explore. Yeah, okay. Good to know. So I'm just making sure everything's working. Also, I'm making sure there's no skippies. Skip, skip, skip. No skip. Alright, looks good. I love pressing X and not doing anything. Oh no, not Thomas Orr! Oh good. This part. They're just playing it early. No, okay, yeah, it's this part. It's me. No, please. Or it could be a new scene. No, it's 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 this part. Daddy.
Is it dead? I'm good. We're out of syringes. <laughs> I think we fought two or three of them in the original. I don't remember. Hey, Gino. Yeah, there still might be one more. The music is still kind of popping. Yeah, there's another one. Alright, again, credit where credit is due. At least this, this particular uh, boss fight has been... Upgraded to take place in a more interesting space. Still another. Might have been able to save ammo, actually.
This does still have a lot of pistol ammo, I guess. I'm lost. I lost the fucking ammo there. That'd be shitty. Okay, Angela. It's okay. Calm down. Don't order me around. I'm not. I just. It's okay. It's over. Don't even try. Try what? Like you don't know. See what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. Angela, please. You don't have to lie. Go ahead. Say it. Or you could just force me. <laughs> like he always did. <laughs> You disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Angela, I don't know who you think I am, but I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get my Mary back. Your Mary. Your own little Mary. At least she was. For a while. What? Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. No. You probably found someone else. No! And 
need to find my mama. I never. I don't know how I feel about a trophy for that. Yeah, I should have I should have just grabbed that ammo during the boss fight. <clears throat> oh fucking well. All right, another minor minor plus, I suppose. Uh, I thought the uh, environment for the boss fight with Abstract Daddy was more interesting. Uh, I don't remember this being in the original, and, uh, this looks kinda cool. I don't know what the fuck it is, but... Let's save and run into it, see if it kills us. Alright. No, I can't do anything. It didn't seem to harm us either. Probably like the exit or something like that, and like we'll go through it at the end. Or something, I don't know. Oh, never mind. Oh, I thought that was a pit. I didn't see the stairs. Alright. So we got five rifle rounds. No shoddy ammo and forty eight pistol. Oh, it's this scene. Maria. Maria. I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt? Not at all, silly. But the th it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator and then James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you after we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You Your voice acting is so everything. flat here. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So you are Maria. I am. Do you want me to be? All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I am here for you, James. See? I'm real. I will say James's voice actor has grown on me. But I still think it's a little too professional. I'm still baffled by... I don't know. How Silent Hill 2 on PS2 has better facial animations. Well... If you happen to make up your mind...
I'll be waiting. I, uh... I'll find some way to... I'll come back, I promise. Oh my, it's the box. You opened it. We came. At least I'm assuming it's the box. It's gotta be the box, right? Yeah, it's the box, baby! Also credit where credit is due. This environment is interesting. Like visually interesting, I mean. He says and then immediately gets stuck in collision. My door's locked. Okay. Not the answer. Going to the green coom room. Oh! Well, there's something. Unless it's because. Oh, there we go. Probably need to get a lighter. Uh, I don't remember. No, I think we came from there. Yeah, so let's look here first. Can you let me interact with whatever it is? I saw the button there for a second. I saw the button there for a second. Game? Unless that's for later and the button being there for a second was accidental. Yeah, alright. Is that actually coming out of the ground, or no? Okay. 
Oh, they can smack me through the ground. Oh, great. Oh, good. More Last of Us. Is this corpse gonna block my way? No. Good. Fuck you, corpse. It's very homecoming-y. Yeah. Just instead of a combat roll, you get this fucking dodge instead. It's kind of what I feared, except for the... the... The roll... the roll dodge was better in homecoming. <laughs> In fact, dare I say it, the combat in Homecoming was better. And the combat in Homecoming wasn't very good. And the the, the, mele the the way the melee tracks onto people is very The Last of Us. Yeah, okay, I'm, I want to smack the goddamn window, please. Game? Stop sliding across the floor to attack a dead enemy, please. Probably. Yeah, we already got that. Also, the the simplification of of the healing items and turning it down to uh, two of them is also very homecoming. -y, <laughs> now that I think about it, Eel. <sighs> yeah, it's lighter fluid, I saw. Lighter gas! It's lighter fluid, you fool. You, you fucking silly Polish devs. Your silly localization team. Pick it up? Hey, thanks. So I think we're done in the quote-unquote rotten area. And the camera has no idea what the fuck to do, Gino, whenever it's pressed up against, um... God damn it. A, uh, a solid surface. Looks like there's a little more that I didn't explore, so we'll try. I love this. I love being stunlocked because of a fucking yell attack that I don't recall that enemy having earlier. Oh good, it's a, it's a dead end locked area, so I'm just gonna take more damage. Cool, it, it can attack me from super range. Okay, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Stellar. And we're already close to death. Great. Okay, so presumably we need a lighter, which will be in one of these different rooms.
Oh, interesting. That just leads in a loop. Okay. And that's a dead end. Yeah, the scream attack is really stupid. I was kind of okay with it with the abstract daddy. I don't remember uh, this this monster having it when we previously fought it. And I don't think it, it had it in the Silent Hill 2 OG. I could be mistaken. Maybe I had never seen it. But uh, the scream is, is really annoying. I don't even remember if they could actually attack you from underneath the grates in the original. Oh, good. Can you open the fucking goddamn door drawer? <laughs> Guys, this is this is this is what the fuck. Come on now. Come on, game. Game? Oh, well, we had it there for a second. Blooper. Oh good, we have a single shotgun shell. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever, it's fine. We were somewhat damaged anyway. Oh, good. Is that another fucking hole? It seems like one of the other things, too, that uh, the, the, the blooper has decided to do is if there was a moment in the original, like an interesting mechanical moment, uh, like reaching your hand into a wall, uh, they're gonna make it you do it 16 fucking goddamn times, even though it was a single thing in the original game. Same thing with, um... Breaking a, uh, 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 a wall down with a melee weapon. And they're also gonna make it this stupid thing where you have to keep pressing X to reluctantly open it up, which is really dumb. I pressed X. Just fucking do it. Just play the cinematic. Just play the animation. Uh, I don't know, and I don't want to waste waste the ammo if I can help it. Because I take... For fuck's sake, I'm not even in that room. Suppose we can find out. Yes, we can. Doesn't really seem worth it. With the amount of ammo it took to get rid of one. Okay, so we got a lighter wick. And even then... Was only be that only really worked out because we're in the that other room. Come on, don't get... Don't get fucking hit. Thank you, Alarm. Oh, good. That shit.
iron key. Probably opens that door too. Okay. You're going over here, huh? Please. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I take damage from this. That was totally fair and, and not cheap in the slightest. Yeah, this is basically, this is basically, Gino, homecoming, but an actual Silent Hill 2, like, if Silent Hill 2 was remade in the style of homecoming, and people liked it for some reason, or really liked it for some reason. I mean, hey, you know, if people like it, cool. Maybe because of the fact that we've been so starved for Silent Hill content for so long, a lot of people are really excited about it. I don't know. Pick it up. Broken lighter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really game? Or do I have to specifically be from here? I pressed the jump button, but of course you're gonna make me press it three times. Oh, hey, we're back here. Maybe a different side of the labyrinth. Nope. Realize I'm just saved, but fuck it. You're gonna give me two save points in close proximity to each other, might as well fucking use them, right? Jesus Christ. The amount of times I've gotten stuck on collision is kind of ridiculous.
This game might have needed a few more weeks or months in the oven to iron shit out. As is the style of modern fucking game dev. Well, I know the game is unfinished and it's got a bunch of bugs in it, but let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, let's release it anyway. stairs leading up, but maybe there's something leading down? Probably not. Okay. That's fine. We'll figure it out. No, I already did this one. Tell me this leads... No, of course it doesn't lead anywhere. Why would it? Did I already... No, this seems new. I will say it's better than the short message. <laughs> but again, like, uh, let's be real here. Everything except for maybe a uh, book of memories is better than the short message. And that's only because of the fact that I haven't played much of book of memories, and apparently it's it's a nightmare to emulate. So, uh, unless. I ever can get access to another Vita TV. Uh, along with a, another uh, little, little plug device that's uh, HDCP free uh, or Vita emulation gets, gets to a stable state. I'm probably never going to get to stream it or play it. Or maybe can I report it? Wouldn't that be something? People go, we want older Silent Hill games on modern hardware, and they start with Book of Memories. Fucking monkey's paw type shit right there. Book of Memories and Play Novel. <laughs> Book of Memories and Play Novel, but Play Novel is at least interesting. Cool, I love I love holding the button and it doesn't work. Fuck this. Oh, good. I'm out of ammo. I didn't realize that. Oh, and now I'm basically out of healing items.
I want to say there was stuff that I missed in here. Yeah, there's this door. I don't know if I ran into it. No, I did. Uh. So then there's... What the fuck? Was there... What did I miss? Because uh, that seems like really weird to just only have an enemy. Oh, here we go. And if this is the same, then hypothetically Pyramid Head might be down here? Or... No, this isn't the Pyramid Head area. I shouldn't be doing that, I'm wasting rifle. to look through. I hear a bug skittering, but I don't fucking see it. So we can't do that yet. Okay. Yeah, we need the bolt cutters. Still out of ammo? Yeah. Of course you're out of ammo, James. You didn't pick any up! That's a long time. Oh god, is it the fucking spider legs? Oh good, it's it's them. I, yeah, I fucking... God damn it. <laughs> Neat idea in theory in execution. They're super fucking annoying. You love white knuckle porcelain surfing. I wonder if the Great Knife is still in the game. It's a shitty fucking melee weapon, but I wonder if it's still in the game. Like, it does a shit ton of damage, but it's just so fucking slow. Last thing I fucking need is a slow ass melee weapon for the fucking dog shit combat system.
Just use melee to conserve uh, ammo, bro. Melee's not worth it. Okay, small key. Good. Cerulio LL Cerulio. Yes, they seem to have leaned heavily into that. Uh, not in the sense of how much you can carry. As far as I can tell, you can still carry as much as you fucking want. But, there's a drastically decreased amount of ammo, Gino, compared from Silent Hill 2 OG. And a drastically decreased amount of healing items. This is not where I wanted to go. And again, if you wanted to, as, as I was saying multiple times already, if you wanted to lean more into the survival aspect of survival horror, which Silent Hill didn't really do until Silent Hill 4, uh, that's fine. That's all, that's all well and good. That's fucking dandy. Uh, but I also think that this game takes it a wee bit too far. To the point where it's uh, really fucking annoying. It's a delicate balance! And I don't think Bloober got it. Like, ye old Silent Hill 2, you'll have, like, if you explore every goddamn nook and cranny, you will have so many goddamn healing items. Uh, by the time you get to, um, fucking, uh, the apartment. Let me, let me, actually, let me, let me take a look here, real quick. Just looking at what I had going into the final boss. Of, si of ye old Silent Hill 2. Because I'm pretty sure I opened my inventory multiple times during that. Because it's a faster way to reload. I know rifle ammo is pretty fucking limited in ye old Silent Hill 2. Because you get the rifle pretty late and it's like the most powerful gun in the game. Let's see, I had like 13 rifle ammo. Going into the final boss, and this is this is me, this is after me using a whole bunch of shit, right? Uh rifle uses four. So I had 17 rifle ammo going into the final boss. Was that 127 or 27? Hold on. Playback speed. 0 0.5, because I scroll through it really quickly. 177. I had 177 shotgun shells. Going into the final boss. In 231 pistol rounds. Six ampules. 17 first aid kits. Uh, Lord knows how many health drinks. So yeah, again, you want to you want to scale resources back. That's fine because Silent Hill 2, ye old Silent Hill 2 had a had a metric metric fuck ton. My guy. Like so fucking many. So fucking many uh resources for you to for you to fuck around with. It's just, you know, whatever, it's fine. But this shit <laughs> has been perpetually annoying in my opinion I don't think the balance is all that great 
especially considering the sheer amount of enemies. How difficult they are to evade slash run away from. And how much health they have compared to how much damage you do. Like, I figured, okay, they're, they're mandatory forcing you to get the pipe. Because uh, if I recall, the pipe is optional in Silent Hill 2. Because you could just basically fuck around with the wood plank the entire time. Which is, I think, what I, I normally do. I don't even remember where the fuck the pipe is. Uh... And they mandatory make you get the pipe, and I figured, okay, uh, this means it's gonna take, like, less melee hits to kill enemies, maybe? Like, the pipe is, like, an upgrade? No. No, you were a fool, if you think that. And again, if this is a hard difficulty, I can understand it. Well, this is normal difficulty, so it just feels fucking weird. For me. Personally. Okay, where the fuck? <sighs> No, that's this. That's this. I tried interacting with that, and it doesn't open. I'm big dumb. The keys for the handcuff. I was thinking we need a bolt cutter for the handcuff. Like I was thinking about the chain. Okay, this is this 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 whole dilemma that we've been dealing with is entirely my own dumbass fault. That's fine. I think you used a... I want to say you use a bolt cutter in the original, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's got to be this this key. This tiny key that we picked up. Gotta get to three. Wait a minute. Yes, this looks there. And the game is also longer, too. Makes things in. I don't even understand why that's a fucking squeeze through. It seems like something you should be able to just go through, but whatever. It's possibly a loading thing. Devs like to pretend, or like to tell people, that squeeze throughs are not because of loading, but most of the time they're for loading. Yeah, there we go. On the latest episode of Devs Say the Darndest Things. Can I get through here unmolested? I'd rather not fight. Probably gonna be in up shit creek by the time we get to the uh, the final boss, unless they just arbitrarily go like right before the final boss, like hey, here's a bajillion trillion bullets, or they uh, do that thing from Silent Ye old Silent Hill too, which is uh, hey there, we see uh, you've run out of ammo. The boss is just gonna die out of pity. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, thank God. A single rifle round. I feel safe, Gina. I feel so safe from the single rifle round. Yeah, it's the pyramid head area, isn't it? Are you gonna do a big dump? Fuck you! It's like a wire cutter, huh? Stop doing this shit where you're blocking off my ability to backtrack. This pyramid head doesn't chase me in here. If not, what a small guy. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, he just has the great knife. He's not using the, uh, the spear. Yeah, you have fun down there, Haas. Saru loves pipe only. That's why they call him pipe only Saru. Oh fuck. I didn't realize you were gonna come in here. You couldn't do that in the original. Hey, that's cool. That's fair. Pipe only Saru, he's a hero. He's gonna take pollution down to zero. By that I mean when he sees you pollute. He's gonna club you in the back of the skull with a pipe. Go! Oh! of death.
Pipe only Saru. Pipe only Saru. And I'm thinking of uh, saying that in the tune of Bombs Over Baghdad. For all you youngins out there, that's a song. Wire cutter. Hey. Hey, ho, hey. Alright, on that note, I'm gonna be your B. <clears throat> See you in a few. Snore, you love Billy Beer. That's why they call you Billy Beer Snore. How's it going, dude? Billy Beer Snore. He's a hero. He's gonna take pollution down to zero. Hey, thanks. Is there any more down? Yeah, there was. Fuck, I came from there. Billy Beer Snore. Oh. Well, at least we got some pistol ammo. Still no shoddy ammo, and we still have the one lonely rifle ammo. Billy Beer Snow Whore. Uh, there's really no point in going there. It's probably best that we go back into the belly of the beast this way. Unless, I, I guess maybe that's in case we wanted to save. But this game fucking auto saves like whoa, so who cares? <coughs> so I guess the great knife is not an available weapon? Because normally you would have picked it up by now. That or they moved it to somewhere else. Maybe this is a hey do do damage to Pyramid Head to get him to fuck up. Oh. He's here. This is what I needed. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. This isn't dog shit. That's also a possibility. Although, considering how trash the fucking weapon is, uh, it's a sh it'd be a shitty unlock. It's just way too fucking slow for uh, the player to use effectively against really anything. Although, from what I did read, the chainsaw is still an unlockable weapon. I think you just get it by beating the game. Yeah, but it's also had good lo unlocks. I don't even remember what's unlockable in Homecoming. Or Downpour, weapon-wise. I know, um, Silent Hill 3 is the sexy beam. Which is really good. And also the submachine gun, which is pretty good. Silent Hill 2 is the chainsaw. Same with Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 1 also has a katana. Um... I think- I- I think Silent Hill 2 is only the chainsaw. Oh, I- I want to say there's a laser gun in one of the Silent Hill games as an unlockable weapon. I mean, and by- by one of the Silent Hill games, I mean one or two. 
Homecoming had a laser pistol as well? Okay. So I don't think I've ever, ever actually streamed a playthrough using unlockable weapons in Silent Hill 1 or 2. Maybe I should do that at some point. Although, I think what I would end up doing... Can you pick up the ammo? Thank you. Uh, at least in Silent Hill 1's case. I don't know if it's possible for Enhanced Edition. Maybe it is. In Silent Hill 1's case, I'd probably download a save that has, like, the weapons unlocked. And then, uh... Play from that. Yeah! That checks out. I want to say my original 360 save had that. Every- everything unlocked. Cause I got- I want to- I got all the achievements in... Homecoming, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I got them all in Downpour. I know for a fact I didn't get them all in HD Collection, cause fuck that. Not only was, uh, HD Collection bad, but also just the achievements in HD Collection, uh, were fucking annoying as shit. This Platinum, despite the fact that I'm not really a fan of this, this remake, the Platinum for Silent Hill 2, uh, remake seems kind of easy. So I might actually Platinum in. I might even stream the game again at some point, but not this back to goal. I got too much shit on the plate. Unless I add it as like a wheel thing, like aiming for X ending or whatever. And there's a lot of endings! There's eight in total. Two of them are brand new to this one. But they brought back all... six of ye old Silent Hill 2's original endings. So, again, credit where credit is due. I'm not entirely keen on this reworked version of The Box. Gonna get to the other side, I'm assuming. I mean, visually it's cool. But, uh... Gameplay-wise, I'm not too keen. Yeah, so we gotta find one... has an opening like down there no oh. that actually would do it but there's no equivalent opening on the other side right No. No. 
I keep getting the same patterns. Like an asshole. Fuck! And did I go all the way up? I think I did, yes. <sighs> we did finally, fucking Jesus Christ. It's locked. Okay. Thought this was gonna turn into a fucking another goddamn chase sequence and I was gonna be very upset. If you get up after I stomp on you 97 goddamn times. I'm going to be very upset. I'm not going to stomp on all of them. One of them is probably going to get up because fuck me, right? Hey, a box of five shells? Oh my god. Oh good, yet another wall that needs to be smashed down. I guess it didn't need to be spent. Whatever. Cool. No, for real. Fuck you, game. Reward the player for being smart, not your stupid fucking jump scare. They, they really did. And also fucking annoying environmental things like this that stun you. It's like the game thinks it's Resident Evil 4. Again, there was there's plenty of combat in in ye old Silent Hill 2. It's not like it's a fucking walking sim. But it not nearly this goddamn much. 
Maybe one, like, a couple rooms have, have, like, I don't know, three or four enemies in it throughout the entirety of the game. Most of them are one or two. On the streets, you can run into a few, you know, a fair amount. It's just, it just gets really fucking annoying after a while. If the combat was actually, like, a really good combat system, a la Resident Evil 4, I probably wouldn't have a problem with it. But the combat system is janky as fuck. And again, not in the slow, deliberate... You are an everyman who does not know how to fight uh, 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 style of jank. This is the jank of a team that has never done a combat engine before. Yeah, Homecoming had less mandatory fights. Pretty sure Downpour had less mandatory fights. Origins had less mandatory fights. Oh, good. Like, this is really fucking annoying. You never had to fight the things that were underground in the original, either. Never. Under the grates, I mean. Where the fuck? Where even is it? Oh good, that was a fucking leg monster. I don't think there's a single room in Silent Hill 2 where you're trapped and forced to fight enemies unless it's a boss encounter. Oh, except for, like, the very mandatory first enemy that you fight in Club Death, who's pretty fucking easy to take out. It's the only one that, that, that springs to mind. I'm pretty sure almost all, if... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, all combat in Silent Hill 2 is, is avoidable if you want. Homecoming also had more resources, and I'm pretty sure Homecoming did that bullshit where... I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Homecoming did the bullshit where you're, you, you, you're only allowed to carry X amount of certain ammo. I think. I know I streamed it like a year or two ago. Not two years ago, but I, I, I can't remember. Okay, do your fucking thing where the walls explode, because I know you're gonna fucking do it. Or are you not gonna do it, even though that would be rule of three and it would actually make sense, despite the fact that it's really fucking annoying? Oh, good! Oh, look at the brand new pyramid head chase scene! Okay. Thank you, I totally wanted more pyramid head, because pyramid head needed more exposure. Thank you. Oh good, yep, there's the rule of three. Where the fuck am I?
worry. Oh no. Oh good, and we have we we have the fucking another boss fight coming up ASAP. What the hell? Oh, there's the great knife. Oh, it's a mandatory thing for now. Oh man, this uh, this uh, can I can I fucking move, please? This plays like absolute dog shit. Can I can I fucking turn and go down the hall, please? Mandatory great knife, great knife use, huh? Okay. I suppose this is one way to, to do a forced walk. Let me guess. Oh yeah, the, the somehow Pyramid Head's great knife causes the spookies to go away. Okay. Okay. Can I drop it? There we go. Hey, it's the graveyard. Wait, was that a... Uh, yeah, it was. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Give me them. I need them. We have a, we have a boss fight coming up. If I had to guess, just based on how things are going, we probably have two to three hours left of the game. If I had to guess. Despite the claims that it's a fucking 18 hour goddamn game. Just jump in the fracking hole, my guy! And there's a trophy for beating this under 10.
excuse me. One of these days I should go through the medium. Even though I know I'd be miserable doing it. I'm never touching the old layers of fear. Yep, here we go. All right, baby. Couldn't leave well enough alone, huh? You just had to follow me all the way out here. How many times do I have to kill you? Whoa, Eddie, it's, it's me. Oh. Uh. Hi, James. Eddie, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit, you make me sick. You gonna cry, fat ass? You gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin, why don't you just kill yourself? Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh! Hey. What's that? Get it, yeah. you oh my god. More? Tell me to relax. You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want to. Shut up! You think I'm stupid. Welcome on in, Raiders. You How is V rising greedy? But you've been laughing at me all along. Or Ever slogging through this remake. Back. You ain't laughing now, are you? <laughs> yeah. Fuck him up! Greedy, that line isn't even in the game anymore. It's dumb. Well, actually, it's it's there as a, as a optional thing. You go to the bowling alley and you find a pizza box, and he's like, "How could anybody eat pizza?" And it's like, it's it's dumb. Instead, Eddie eats melted ice cream with his hands. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. Yeah, you and me. They're the same. There is one thing, though, that I didn't... That wasn't in that clip I linked to you, Greedy. Greedy. Uh, where despite that entire scene being terrible, there's one minor touch that I liked about that scene. Where James nonchalantly says to Eddie, Well, I see you got your appetite back. And it's, it's in reference to the fact that, you know, the previous time they met, Eddie was vomiting. Right? He's sick and everything like that. And it's pretty clear James meant nothing by it. But then Eddie realizes what he's doing. And feels though as though like it's an insult sort of thing. And like feels bad about it. Speed like, L mod nice. check hyperspeed alert. Alert. This is a big penis alert. Please remain calm. There is 10.5 of grade SCHLONG meat in the vicinity. Please keep arms and legs a safe distance from the incoming big OL beef tube. Thank you for the, uh, for the resub. You're not like but, other people, don't you know that? Oh, and even though I'm not liking this remake and not liking the character designs and whatever, uh, credit where credit is due, they added a brand new cinematic with Angela that has no corresponding cinematic from the original game that I thought it was handled really, really well. Uh well, you're about to find out. Oh no! Hey, do you got a... You got any ammo on me? I like that it's clearly me. It's the brown jacket instead of a green jacket. For me, as of right now, the entire game is not a complete dumpster fire. It's 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 about on par as what I feel with Homecoming and Downpour. 
Do you know what it does to you, James? But it is... When you hate it, 10, percent you hate it, percent inferior to the original game. Uh, and the combat sucks, yeah, and not in that deliberate yeah, Silent Hill... Dog. ...type. You know what? It was fun! It sucks in the way of a, uh... Chew its own guts up. Finally the dev has never done a combat engine before. And they're bad at it. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> and now it's your turn, James! Uh-huh. Where you at? Oh. You. Yeah, of course you see me. I'm shooting you. Fuck. Come on, James. Don't be shy. Yeah, I sent you on the book. What are you gonna do? I I hit the button for the rifle? Come on now. Also, the game doesn't know what to do when the, ca the camera's up against the wall. <laughs> they are. And I'm happy for them, but uh, and and I don't. I don't really understand it. Punch me, you you fuck! Oh, we're not gonna have the lock on now. Okay. Relax. It'll be over soon. Come on, just end the fucking fire right now. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, all right. I'm glad. I'm glad that I hit the aim button and uh, nothing came up for like five seconds. That's cool. <sighs> God damn it! Let me guess. I have to fucking sit through and listen to his entire goddamn monologue again. Oh no, I don't. That's nice. That's convenient. Oh, good. Oh, fuck off!
Uh, suck my nuts. Can you pick up uh, the, the syringe? Thank you. Okay, yeah. Cool, since it's a pistol, he, he doesn't take reaction damage there. What the fuck is that animation? Hold on. Yeah, okay, that's great. Stop. Stop. PlayStation, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna go frame by frame, because that looked janky. <laughs> it was janky. He had to warp into position. God damn it. Yeah, alright, come on now. Yeah, it's funny, I'm holding the skip button and it doesn't skip. Come on now. Come on, fat boy! <laughs> Point blank miss! Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, 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 come on, fucking... I don't know if I actually hit him with that. Probably not. Please do. I got a shot of the Alright, yeah, so you can hit me point blank range, but I can't hit you point blank range. Is that is that Jack Cider from the Jack Cider gaming forum? Okay, yeah.
Yeah. God damn, this, this... Every fucking fight in this game, except for Abstract Daddy, is objectively fucking worse. Cool, we're out of ha uh, healing items completely. Yeah, you, you said that multiple times. It's old. Okay. Well, cool, we're gonna have to redo the whole fight again. I'll kill you, James. I love, I love, I love, I love this stupid meat shit. That was just a static thing in the original. Oh yeah, there's spider mannequins now too, Greedy, and they're fucking annoying. going to kill you and then kill you again yeah I love getting hit yeah I'm just gonna fucking reload the last auto save I want to get the it uh, the items in the boss arena in the event that uh, they just force me out like they did the last time. There you are. Come on, James, don't be shy. Jack, are you shy? Relax. It'll be over soon. Oh, <laughs> uh, I haven't played like a Dragon Gaiden, but I would assume so. And by short, it's probably like, you know, 20 hours as opposed to 50. <laughs> you know, that's cool. Relax. It'll be over soon. God, it takes way too long to fucking skip a cinematic. What about like a Jack Gaiden? What would that be like, Jack? Describe it in excruciating detail. Come on, James, 
Don't be shy. Yeah, all right. Instant, instant fire. Cool. <laughs> the fucking yeah. All right. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You know, I'm glad Blooper Team fat shamed you. Maybe, I might have. I don't remember. I've seen some of the Planet of the Apes movies. Come on, James, don't be shy. <laughs> yep. Another warping into thingy thing. Oh, that's weird. Maybe Twitch doesn't like me anymore. I mean, they never liked me, let's be fair. I don't like me either. Uh, what's my health at? Not good. That sounds about right. Twitch releasing a scuffed product? Oh, cool. It's really great that he can see me and I can't see him. This is it, James. Well, we're basically gonna die again. Oh, good. Holy Jesus. Uh, I have not played mouthwashing. I only just heard about it today, but I don't know anything else about it. Uh, but let's see here. Uh... Yeah. As angry as I get at this game, uh, I will add, continue to add more and more bullshit. So cool, we're uh, one hit away from death, no healing items, uh, one rifle round. Although we do have a lot of pistol ammo. Uh, okay, so that's where I came from. Sneezy Joe. You love horror games, Jack. Uh, I'll look into Mouthwash, depending on its price or whatever. Uh, there's some other game that uh, my buddy Matt wanted me to go through. But I might hold off on that straight away. Uh, just because I need kind of a palate cleanser from Layers of Fear and Silent Hill 2 Remake and also the disappointment that is the Until Dawn Remake.
I mean, 10% off for release doesn't really help me. I have, like, no money at the moment. Not until next Monday. But I'll look into it. And if it's relatively cheap, I'll maybe pick it up next week. Uh, sure, Toluca Lake. Oh, good. Are we? Yep, it's the boat section. It's the part everybody loves. Hey, Greedy, if you're still here, this game has more combat than Silent Hill Homecoming. And the combat's more frustrating than Silent Hill Homecoming. Yeah, this game has this 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 remake. Bluebird decided to go. What if we made more combat than Homecoming? Uh, G and Gino, who has worked on Homecoming, can attest to this. Oh, so we're 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 rowing the boat with the triggers now. As opposed to, uh, sticks, so I guess that's kind of neat. Uh, but rowing the boat still kind of sucks. Well, that's neat. If it's still relatively cheap next week, I might look into it. I'm talking, and, and, and also, uh, Greedy, this, this game has, uh, pitiful ammo and, uh, healing items. This game thinks it's Resident Evil 4, in terms of combat. And then also, uh, drastically scaled down the amount of resources you get. While also making everything spongy as shit. It's great. Combat has not been frustrating and tedious and an absolute fucking slog for all the wrong reasons, uh, this entire playthrough. Credit where credit is due, the game, the, the, the remake has done a few things right. But, uh, for the most part... Uh... I don't... I don't personally like it. All that much. It is... Frustrating and mid. And inferior to Silent Hill 2 original in almost every way, except for... I guess, you know, obviously the graphics, if, if that's your thing. It has worse facial animations, Greedy, than Silent Hill 2 Original. Silent Hill 2 Original has, like, far superior facial animations for its cinematics. So hypothetically, if if this is ye old Silent Hill 2, this f the fucking uh, hotel would probably take me about like an hour, but since this is the remake, uh, it's probably gonna take me like three four hours because Bluebird decided to pad everything out up the ass. They gave me a full heal. I didn't need to use that health drink that I picked up. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Anyways, let's find a save point and I'm gonna do a BRB. I mean, the, the, Jack, to be fair, this is a tremendous step up from their previous games that I have played. Uh, I haven't played the medium, and I hear the medium is f fucking terrible. Uh, surprise, surprise. 
but I, you know, I can't really comment on that. But based on Blair Witch and based on um, Layers of Fear, it's a step up. And I, there's, while I'd still be critical and still be bitching about the shitty combat and everything like that, uh, if this was an original Silent Hill game, and it was not a remake of Silent Hill 2, I would probably be more lenient on it. Personally. Because I could see it as its own original thing, as opposed to trying to fucking goddamn remake one of the best horror games of all time. Alright, where the fuck is a goddamn save point? Okay, we don't have a map yet. There's a map. Give me the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although the thing I'm still the most annoyed about is every everybody and their cat claiming that it's a faithful remake when it's it's not. It's a reimagining remake. You'd think they would have stuck a save point in the goddamn lobby so you wouldn't have to do the fucking boat thing again. I mean, agreed. I am I'm immensely annoyed since you know I'm having to play this piece, this 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 fucking thing. Uh, for everything that they have done right, there is at least one thing they have done terribly, or 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 is just a baffling change. In some cases, it's multiple things. Like, oh yeah, hey greedy. This is another thing. You remember in Silent Hill 2 how when you get to the Silent Hill S Historical Society and then you have to melee a wall to break it down and find a door? They decided to make that a reoccurring mechanic that you have to do throughout the entire fucking goddamn game. Do you remember in Silent Hill 2 when you had to reach your hand into a hole in the wall and pull out something and it was kind of like, like gross or whatever? Yeah, they made that and also a reoccurring mechanic, except you have to press X three fucking times before James will stick his fucking hand in the goddamn thing. It's great. I, I don't know. I wish I did. Alright, I need to- I need to do a BRB, and I can't find a save point, so... I'm just gonna pause, and we're gonna BRB. Yeah, it's- it's- it's... Everything is just completely... like- like, I don't- I don't- I don't get it. And similarly, like, I was praising this game uh, before I go on BRB. I was praising the- 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 like, the first... Oh, five hours of my playthrough because there was very little dialogue for the sake of dialogue and almost no hint dialogue. Like, no hint dialogue. I was happy. And then right as I realize that and I verbalize it, I meet Maria and they fucking in give her a shit ton of dialogue for the sake of dialogue and hint dialogue as you're exploring. Like, I'm fucking looking for resources and Maria keeps going, you're going the wrong way. You know you're going the wrong way. Oh, next time warn me before you sla smash glass. It's like fucking nails on a goddamn chalkboard. Nails on a fucking chalkboard. Every single goddamn time, it's like, I, I realize something, it's like, oh, this game's doing something okay. Like, the first Pyramid Head scene is kept almost identical to how it is in the original, where it's just, he's on the other side of some bars, and there's no stinger, there's no cinematic, nothing. It's effective. Oh, good, they kept that. The second time we meet Pyramid Head in the, 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 the hotel, or apartment, they kept it the same. It's the horrifying sequence with the mannequins. Uh, it's, it's effective, it's well done. Then you get to the chase sequence at Brookhaven, and they decided to introduce the chase sequence at Brookhaven with a goddamn cinematic, and also have environment explode, and have you have to vault over shit. And it's like, you guys, what the fuck, you were doing so well, and now you're dipping into homecoming nonsense. Alright, beer B. Or B.